River State Governor Oye Sonwiki has replied to persons opposed in the recent decision of Southern governors on open grazing and other issues, saying the governor's demands are irrevocable. Wiki insisted that their demands must be respected, reminded critics of governors should that no section of the country is inferior to others. Wiki spoke during a grand reception held in his honor of Ogoni nationality in Bori Hana local government area on Saturday. The governor declared that he had taken further steps to fulfill the resolution reached by southern governors in Asaba. He said, we have taken a position and no going back. Enough is enough. We are not second class citizens of this country. We also own this country. Wiki charged the hydrocarbon pollution remediation project, high prep, saddled with the responsibilities of the cleanup of polluted sites in Ogoni to relocate its operational office from Port Harcourt to Bori, the headquarters of Ogoni people. He said, you cannot talk of cleaning up a place and keep your office in another area. Bring your office from Port Harcourt and come and stay in Bori so that you can hear and appreciate the feelings of the people. Wiki recalled that when he launched his quest to govern River State in 2014, he received tremendous support from Ogoni nationality. He said in appreciation, his demonstration had graciously fulfilled the promise to dialize the Sapenwa Bori Kono Road and had gone further to award contracts for the phase two of the project from Bori to Kono valued at 14 billion naira. The governor acknowledged that the people of Ogoni nationality had remained steadfast in their support of his administration. The governor directed the commissioner of power and incoming chairman of Hana local government area to ensure the electrification of all communities in the council yet to be connected to the national grid within the next five months. He charged the incoming chairman Hana, Koghana, Tai and LM to endeavor to initiate and implement projects that would enhance the well-being of their people. Wiki noted that Ogoni was an important part of the state and Nigeria and urged their leaders to fight against the menace of courtism and other related acts of criminality. The River State Governor, who was conferred with the title the Mene Ekwelu, first of Ogoni, a benevolent king, by the President of Supreme Council of Ogoni Traditional Rulers, His Royal Majesty King GNK Giniwa assured that his administration will continue to ensure even development of every path of the state. In his remark, the President of Kagote Emmanuel Dia said the reception was organized in honor of the governor because Ogoni people were beneficiaries of the unprecedented infrastructure development within the state witnessed since he assumed office. He said, in this light, we respectfully placed on record our gratitude for the various appointments and elective offices that came to our sons and daughters through your singular effort. Due to several infrastructural development programs and projects that you have executed in our local government areas, both completed and some ongoing are scattered 
all over the place. Also, Senator Magnus Abe lauded the governor for improving infrastructure in Ogoni land. The senator lauded the governor for improving infrastructure in Ogoni land and also said that this is not a gathering of Ogoni people from which many Ogoni men that is proud to be an Ogoni man can afford to be absent. The good politician is not the one that has the most number of enemies. It is the one that has the most number of friends. Former president of the movement for the survival of Ogoni people, Musop. Ledon Miti said Ogoni people would remain externally grateful to Governor Wiki for his developmental strides in Ogoni. Mitter explained that during his reign as Mosul president, he had appealed to all past governors of River State to dialyze the Sapenwa Bori Kono Road, but none except Governor Wiki hearkened to him and other Ogoni leaders. Present at the event were ministers of state of education Emeka. Wanju Uba, Senator Barry PG, Domnamene Deco, the Speaker, River State House of Assembly, Ikoinji O Ibani, and leaders of the Ogoni Nationality. What do you make of what has been said? What is your thought on this that you have had? We have heard about the River State Governor who has replied to persons opposed to the recent discussion of southern governors on open grazing and other issues, saying the governor's demands are irrevocable. He has also insisted that their demands must be respected minded critics of the governors should not, you know, sector and section of the country is inferior to others. What do you have to say about what has been said? But before we go, let's see people's reaction about this. Let's know their thoughts on what has been said. Theophilus Wonu reacted to this and said, I can't hold back to thank Wiki for so many reasons. For reaffirmation of the decision taken at Asaba, which some people are not comfortable with in some quarters. Again, the Sam Pewa Bori Road dualized is one project that Ogoni people will always remember the governor for. He keep to his electionary promises of Wiki. We have heard what Theophilus has said that Governor Wiki kept to his electionary promises. We have so many governors who have you know made some electionary promises and have not you know yet to what they said. They did not keep their promises, but Wiki is not like that. He has made the promise. He has fulfilled the promise he made to the, you know, masses when he was campaigning. The promise he made to the citizens during the campaign, he made it, you know, he fulfilled the promises even when he has assumed power. And that is why the people are commending him for his effort. Now, what is your thought on what has been said? We have heard the Southern Governor decision is irrevocable according to what Ricky has said. We would like you to drop your comments about this. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.